okay so nixie tube uh, weather station so let's have a look all right this is the outdoor unit and this will basically record the outdoor environmental parameters you can see there there's the bme 280 chip and that's the sensor and that's recording temperature humidity and barometric pressure giving that to the arduino nano over here which is using that data and it's got a real-time clock here ds3231 so it's using the environment data and passing that every 10 seconds to the nrf 24l01 radio so this radio is the data link between the indoor unit and the outdoor unit so this is the outdoor unit so this outdoor data is being transmitted via this radio to the indoor unit and of course there's a power supply and the SD card so what happens is every 10 minutes or so this nano writes the data to the SD card uh, so all the indoor data that it gets from here sorry the outdoor data that it gets from this sensor and via the radio link it also receives indoor data so this SD card is logging both indoor and outdoor data and so hopefully that will give us an idea of how good our thermal insulation is and uh, you know things like that anyway there's a 12 volt uh, power supply that changes that uh, converts the 12 volt into Arduino friendly supplies uh, so 5 volt and 3.3 .3 volt and finally over here we have an LCD display which you can't see very clearly but I could use that for you know just um, checking to see it's, it's a basically a status indicator that this thing is working correctly the radio link is working so all that's basically available on the display all right so and here we have an imperial 8080 walker from empire strikes back all right this is the indoor unit and uh, this is controlled by the arduino mega i had to use a mega here because obviously all these nixie tubes need a lot of pins so you have a and the nano wouldn't uh, an Ar arduino uno or nano just wouldn't be enough all right so uh, we have the arduino mega all right another nrf 24l01 radio now this radio receives data from the outdoor station and then we can choose to display it here and this mega you can see it also has a bme280 sensor on it so this is recording indoor data and transmitting that indoor data back through this radio to the outdoor unit where it will then be written to the SD card and we can analyze that you know we can record about six months of data and then analyze it between the difference between indoor and outdoor temperatures and things like that anyway so we want to display this data indoors right so obviously this will go into a nice little enclosure and stuff um, but right now it's just running in test mode so we have the Arduino Mega we have the NRF radio we have a Bluetooth radio here now this is what connects to the phone app which I've made so the app will connect to this Bluetooth radio and then help us look at the data that we're um, we're recording you know in case you wanted to know the temperature the humidity from inside again another 12 volt power unit that converts 12 volt DC into Arduino friendly supplies then we have this this is converts this is a power converter unit for 180 volts DC so these Nixie tubes these old Russian Nixie tubes this is these are the iron 12 Nixie tubes and they need uh, 180 volts DC to work so and each of them has an IC this is the Russian IC which uh, is a BCD converter so I send binary code from the mega to these ICs and these ICs then convert that into the signals that the Nixie understands and uh, to display our digits so this is the 180 volt supply so if you're thinking of working on a project like this make sure you know about uh, high voltage DC power supplies and the associated safety precautions you need to take before you commence a project like this all right so let's see it working so this is actually recording data now it's connected to the uh, to the serial monitor and you can see that here indoor data and outdoor data uh, you can just see that the outdoor and indoor every time it makes a transmission so it transmits the outdoor data here OD temperature um, humidity and barometric pressure and then so this radio transmits it and then this radio receives it and then sends the indoor information back
So you can see the indoor information coming back to this, you know, a fraction of a second after the outdoor data goes. So the outdoor data and then the indoor data. And every 10 minutes or so, that data is logged to the SD card. All right, let's look at the app and see what uh, what we can do. I'll just turn the light off so that we can see the Nixie better. Okay, so let's first connect to the Fox River weather station. All right, so this is our uh, Bluetooth, this one, this Bluetooth, WXSTN weather station. So let's connect to the weather. All right. And we're connected. And now you can see these buttons have gone green, so which means I can check outdoor temperature, indoor temperature, humidity, barometer, and dew point. So let's see what the outdoor temperature is. And there it is on the Nixie. It's 20.3 degrees Celsius. Now the indoor temperature. It's 19.5. Obviously, there's not much of a difference now because they're both exactly in, I mean, you know, they're both inside the house. But hopefully when this one is outdoors, we'll get a substantial difference and we'll know how our thermal, in, thermal insulation is working inside the house. So anyway, indoor temperature is 19.5 on the Nixie. Let's see the humidity. The humidity is pretty low, 47%. Uh, what's the barometer doing? Barometer 612, and that's why we have fine weather outside. That's, that's a really low barometer reading. This is in millimeters of mercury. So you would expect this to be around 760, but uh, it's showing 612 because we're actually at 6,000 feet elevation. And so that's why the barometer reading is so low. But in, in my world, this is actually quite a high reading. Usually I get around 610 or something. All right, so that's the barometer. Finally, the dew point. And the dew point is at 8.6 degrees Celsius, okay? Which means that if, so right now the temperature is 20.3, uh, and if it dropped to 8.6, which is the which is showing as the dew point, uh, we'd probably have rain or uh, dew on the ground at night. So that's, that's quite an interesting uh, uh, little feature that uh, I've added. All right, let's disconnect. And when I disconnect, you'll notice that the digits do a little dance. So I just want to press the button off screen. This is the disconnect button. And I want to just press it off screen and we'll let you see what happens to the digits. So I'm disconnecting now. You see that? It cycles through all the digits. And that's because these Russian Nixies, they like, uh, you know, they're, they're old electronics basically. And so they don't like if you only show certain digits on them. So every now and then you have to cycle through the digits. So the way I've done it is, so if I connect again to the weather station, um, yeah. And now I'm just gonna disconnect. And when you disconnect, you'll see all the digits cycle through. Uh, that's just for the health of the Nixie tube, that's all. So there you go. All right, there you are. Nixie tube weather station with a Bluetooth app so that uh, this unit can be you know, put up on the wall somewhere inside a nice little box or something. And uh, we can just monitor weather through the app. And of course, the SD card is logging data so that if you want to do any in-depth analysis over a long period of time, you know, six months, a year, you can just take out that SD card and, uh, uh, you know, analyze stuff. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget the Imperial Walker on patrol. Here's the weather station outdoor unit. Uh, you can see the... It's just inside a plastic enclosure with uh, some holes inside. So the, you know, the heat generated by the electronics, that doesn't really affect the readings because uh, fresh air is always able to flow into the, into the enclosure. Uh, so there it is sitting there. You can see the NRF 24 uh, aerial sticking out. And it doesn't have to transmit very far actually because that's our bedroom window. And just inside that, I'll show you the other unit. So let's go inside and look at the receiver. So this is the uh, indoor unit in the um, inside the in our bedroom and our office actually. So it's powered by the 12 volt um, supply coming from the household mains. You can see three Nixie tubes and on this side you can probably see this is the Bluetooth radio 
and up here is the NRF receiver uh, which actually receives from the outdoor unit so let's see it working Here's the Bluetooth app. So the first thing you do is, well, I'm already connected to the Bluetooth now. That's why all these buttons have gone green. So I can choose to display any of these values on the Nixie. So if I want to know the outdoor temperature, I just press that button. And there it is on the Nixie tube. Uh, this, there's a lot of sunlight coming in, so you can't see it, but there you are. Well, you can see the sh with this, with the shadow of the phone. It's 15.6 outside. And similarly, I could see the indoor temperature, the humidity, the barometer. Now, the indoor temperature is coming from, you can see there's one BME 280 sensor right there outside the unit. Again, kept outside the unit so that uh, the internal electronics don't heat up that sensor. So there it is on top, outside. So humidity, barometer, dew point, 24 hour maximum and minimum. And so if, if, I'm, if we're in a place say we're in the bed or something and we want to know what the temperature weather is like we can't actually see this unit from uh, from our bedroom which is which is over there so what i do is what's this okay All right, so here's the display. So what I can do is I can actually show the weather on the phone if I click that. So now I can see the humidity over here, 66.4. 24 hour minimum was 14.8. 24 hour maximum was 28. We had a warm day yesterday. The dew point is 9.4, so the humidity must be pretty low. Yeah, 66%. All right. Mm. Now, I can also check the two-way comm link. So when I press this button, uh, you just get a sort of Boolean value out here, either 1 or 0. And what that tells me is that the communications between this unit and the outdoor unit are okay. Uh, you know, there's two-way communication happening and the data is being written to the SD card. If that situation is there, I'll see a 1 on the comm check. If I see a zero here, I know there's some problem either with the radios or the SD card or something. So that's just a kind of status indicator for me to know, uh, make sure that the, 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 uh, both, the, both the radios are working properly. So this is the Bluetooth app. And uh, here's the indoor unit. So let's see what it's showing now. So there you are. Barometer 613 millimeters of mercury. Humidity is 65.4%. So that's the Nixie tube and uh, Arduino wireless uh, weather station with an indoor unit and an outdoor unit. And the last thing for me to show you is the output of the SD card uh, where we look at the data that's being recorded and we'll try to make some analysis, do some analysis on uh, the weather data that we're recording. I have about a month's worth of data now so I'll just take out the SD card, load it on the computer, and uh, we'll watch the final part of the video. All right, so now that we've seen the weather, weather station, uh, the construction, how it works, and we've seen it working, let's take a look at the data. So I think I have about uh, three weeks of recorded data here. Uh, this is the raw text file, which is written on the SD card. Okay, and so it's just it's just simple entries like this. So there's date, and there's time. Then there's a little marker here, OD and ID. So that tells you whether the data came from the indoor, the outdoor sensor, or the indoor sensor. And then there's the data itself, just comma separated values. So there's uh, temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure. That's it. And then so that happens every 10 minutes or so. So you can see here, uh, 1550. So outdoor reading, and then 1550 indoor reading, then 1600, and then uh, 1610 or so, 1611, 1621. So every 10 minutes or so, the data is written.
okay so that's on the SD card and so you know once maybe once every few months I'll just walk over there take out the SD card and bring the data to the computer uh, and this is the Python program so this is Python 3 uh, which we use to interpret that data so this is, a, this is also fairly simple so um, well if you know Python it, this is this is simple but otherwise what we're basically doing is we're just passing those lines of data you know just stripping them of their dashes and commas that were there all right and then just assigning values to the various variables so you know year month date hour minute second and then uh, what do you call this this is uh, this is the first uh, data field so this is temperature this is the second data field so this is uh, parametric pressure and this is the third data field that's um, uh, sorry uh, temperature humidity parametric pressure and then a flag over here which tells you whether it was indoor data or outdoor data and then uh, we just open up a window of uh, and then just graph the whole thing you know so that's easy to look at all right so uh, let's just have a look at the program running um, okay so that's the data has been read and you can so it just gives you an overview over here that uh, the outdoor temperature the mean was 17.7 uh, and the indoor was 21 so there's a four degree difference on average between indoors and outdoors but what's interesting is if you look at the outdoor temperature there's a variance of 2.232 degrees outdoor temperature variance and the indoor temperature variance is just one degree so that means the indoor temperature is a lot more stable than the outdoor temperature and it's four degrees higher so that's that's pretty interesting uh, you know and uh, it's probably due to the kind of bricks we're using which are uh, hollow bricks so let's look at the data all right so we have three graphs uh, let me just maximize this here we have three graphs so the t on the top there's indoor temperature and outdoor temperature so that's this graph and the next one is the barometer and the last the bottom most graph is the um, humidity graph indoor values are all in red and outdoor values are in green so you can see uh, this is temperature for instance you can see first of all the temperature varies a lot less inside than it does outside outside is the green one you can see there's a lot more variance there in the outside temperature whereas the inside temperature doesn't vary much at all and uh, that you could see that in the variance value one degree okay uh, so that tells that tells me that the bricks we're using these uh, hollow bricks are actually doing a pretty good job and we actually keep our windows open so you know I'm, I'm guessing in colder climates probably people if if you shut your windows you'll probably get a much better insulating uh, you know va uh, factor f insulating effect of those uh, hollow bricks um, yeah so this is barometer all right and you can see the indoor and outdoor barometers are almost matching they're almost on top of each other actually which makes sense because the windows are open obviously there won't be any difference in the atmospheric pressure let's just zoom into the barometer and have a look and uh, you can see just one day's data and this is interesting so if if you look at the data so this is uh, all right let's start with this this is 11 to 28th of November and about this is four o'clock in the morning right so four o'clock in the morning you have a low in the barometer right and at about 10 o'clock so this is 10 in the morning now here you have a high right uh, and again at around 1500 so this is 1400 here so again at 1400 you have a low so you have this diurnal variation in barometer in the barometric pressure and it's actually quite uh, it's quite regular if you look at it you know every day there's a peak there's two peaks and uh, there's two lows and they occur almost at the same time you can see the time period here it's almost like a sine curve but you can also see that superimposed on this very very tight sine curve here there's also a t almost a two what is this this is about uh, two weeks is, is about 10 days worth of a curve that extends all the way across so that's very interesting again this is just three weeks of data so we'll have to wait for more data to come in and then probably you can make some more uh, inferences from this and the bottom most one is the humidity so again you see that the the indoor humidity in red is almost steady it's about between 60 to 70 percent uh, but the outdoor humidity we've been having a lot of rain so it's close to 80 90 95 percent uh, except uh, somewhere here where we did have some very warm weather and uh, the the outdoor humidity just dropped to about 25% uh, or so at one point over here but you notice that the indoor humidity didn't so again the you know the bricks and the and stuff 
they are maintaining a fairly steady indoor temperature and humidity so that's interesting to look at all right so that's the weather station um, and uh, this is the final output of the whole thing so hopefully in a couple of years we'll be able to analyze you know how how the weather is changing and things like that so thanks for watching I will be uploading the files uh, all the files for this so that includes uh, the circuit uh, diagrams which are uh, you know the PCB diagrams which I made so that will be uh, fritzing sketches for both the indoor and outdoor units I'll upload the Arduino C++ code for the indoor and outdoor units um, there's already a video online about uh, how to how to work with Nixie tubes which I made uh, so that before if you want to attempt this project and you want to use Nixies to display a weather I would recommend looking at that watching that video first on how to use a Nixie tube um, and of course I will up upload uh, this Python code as well so in case you want to analyze your data I'll be uploading this code as well all right so thank you for watching and uh, uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed watching this project thank you